believe in GAN retracements? Well, William Delbert Gann, uh, I've spent a very long time studying and I've studied all of his courses. Mr. Gann uh, started off with a mechanical method and uh, he had a mechanical method of showing people how to trade. When he found somebody was making money with the mechanical method, then he would teach them uh, the more advanced forecasting methodologies. And Gann made his name uh, based on forecasting major turns in the marketplace. His mechanical method was very, very simple indeed. Now, uh, there's a great deal of common ground between Gann and Fibonacci. Gann, in fact, um, you're not old enough to remember, but uh, uh, when I was at school, uh, graph paper wasn't in fact uh, marked in tenths, it was marked in eighths. Okay, And uh, uh, a Fibonacci pullback uh, is either 0.38 or 0.62. And uh, Gann would have looked at 3 eighths and 5 eighths, which is 0.375 and 0.625, which is as near as dam at the Fibonacci levels. So there's an awful lot of common ground between Gann retracements and Fibonacci retracements. A lot of common ground indeed. Uh, Gann has got some uh, very advanced uh, methodologies of drawing in trend lines or GAN fans. Uh, they are very difficult to do as the market evolves because it means that one has to have the ability to scale your charts properly. And that is quite difficult to do. Many people, it's very easy to do in hindsight. You can scale the chart so the lines fit perfectly. But as the market evolves, it's quite difficult to do. GAN analysis, um, uh, Gan went on to use uh, astrological methods to forecast markets and that is a deep, 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 deep area of study. So in terms of putting together a uh, pragmatic trading plan, then I found that the Fibonacci patterns uh, are much, much, much better. The patterns that I talked about based on the works of H.M. Uh, Gartley, and I, I've only mentioned the Gartley 2-2 pattern and the uh, three drives to a top pattern. There are dozens and others of other patterns that one could use. I love GAN analysis and uh, I love his methodology of forecasting and uh, if I go to a dinner party on a Saturday night and people want to talk about markets then I can bore them to tears about dates many years out into the future. But the one thing that I was taught a very long time ago is that when you actually enter the trading room that you take off your opinions at the same time as you take off your coat. I trade the market, uh, not the forecast.